But there is a future purification that is described in the apocalyptic readings of the scriptures, uh, some in the Old Testament, most in the New Testament, and a lot in the book of the Apocalypse that describes a purification by fire. And that is the purification that we're about to undergo, I believe, because we're coming to the end of an age. Father, we're talking about purification by fire. What, what do you mean by that? Um, the, the third purification uh, that is talked about in the scriptures is one that comes about through fire. Um, Malachi, in his writings, describes a, a, an intense fire that literally changes the face of the earth. And that purification is one that follows the two previous purifications, and that is um, in the flood of Noah by water and at the time of the crucifixion by blood. And just as those were ways of, of pruning back what was dead so that new life could come forward, we have to assume that the Lord is doing the same thing with this future purification by fire, that it is simply a pruning and an anticipation of, of many good things to follow that. And so it's not something that we should be necessarily apprehensive about, but really something that we should welcome because it means that God is, is doing great and powerful things and he's making good on his promise. You know, Father, that, I'm glad you said that because that's what's going through my head. I know scripture tells us we are not to be afraid, but I'm sure a lot of people are listening to this thinking, fire sounds scary. Yeah, it, it, it does when, when it's taken out of context. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you take a, a fire in a fireplace out of context, it can be very frightening but fire in the fireplace can do much good. And so in the same way, I think we have to trust that God the Father knows what he's doing in preparing us uh, for the dispensing of even more gracious gifts. And so as painful as that may seem, um, and as anxious as we may want to become, I think hope has to supersede all of that fear because our Lord has never abandoned us and he's always doing what is good and best for us. You know, Father, every time that we do a show at Focus, on, say, this change that will be coming. We are clear that this is not a time for panic, this is not a time for fear, but we really need to be preparing our hearts, don't we, more than anything else. I think that's probably a, a great admonition that um, what we need to be focusing ourselves on is, is not the storing up of food or the preparing of this or that, um, but really opening our hearts and, and wanting and being hungry for uh, what our Lord is, is getting ready to give to us. Because it's not only uh, going to be good for this generation, but also for future generations.